continue with this video, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, which is Outer. If you're not familiar with Outer, they make eco-conscious and sustainable outdoor furniture that is super high quality and super comfortable. Outer is sustainable, so their all-weather wicker frame is made out of recycled plastic bottles. They plant trees to fight deforestation. They're climate neutral certified, and all of their furniture is completely recyclable, which is the best part. Outer is also made from the best materials. Their outer shell fabric is UV protected and stain resistant, so it'll keep your furniture looking new for up to 10 years. And not only that, but Outer is also charitable. They are part of the 1% for the Planet program, where 1% of the revenue is dedicated to a nonprofit environmental organization. In 2021, a big portion of their revenue went to one tree planted to help reforest the planet. So if you want to check out Outer for yourself, get some high quality outdoor furniture, we have a discount code for $200 off. You can go to liveouter.com slash vegan for more. Thank you Outer for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into it. Good morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. oh, it's still morning, it's 11. 11, 11, 11, 12 actually. I'm really excited for today's video because we are doing something a little, well, not a little, very out of the ordinary for us. Very exciting, but also very scary. I'm terrified. And, Kelsey, if you're uh, watching this, we're terrified. To add on to the <laughs> tension, we decided to film it, so. Here we go. Here we go. So our friends asked us to bake for their wedding. So we're, we're basically providing desserts. all the desserts for the wedding, which is in two days, right? Yeah, except for the cake and some oh, no, cupcakes. Oh, it's tomorrow. Oh my god, it's literally tomorrow, yes. The cake and the cupcakes we um, ordered from a local bakery just because of the cake. I'm like, I don't want to mess that up, and I don't decorate cakes. So we ordered a passion fruit cake, which I'm really excited to try because I freaking love passion fruit. But um, yeah, this will be our first catering gig, is it? I think so. So let's uh, let's do it. We have a bunch of things on the menu, on the menu, on the docket for today and tomorrow. There's a few things that we have to make the day of. Mm -hmm. Oven's ready on time. And the first thing we're starting off with is some cake pops. So we found a recipe on line on Edgy Veg's website for cake pops. Shout out Edgy Veg. And she actually she said instead of she said don't use the milk or the oil or obviously the eggs, but to replace all three to use um, club soda, which we've never done. I've seen people bake cakes with soda before, so I've seen it be done, I know it's gonna work. Ooh, we can add vanilla for flavor. Maybe we should okay. add vanilla. All right, y'all, let the chaos begin. I'm so nervous, like, for a wedding, doing this for a wedding. You wanna put the rest in here? It's like such an important day. And our friends are like, we're chill, we don't care. Just like do your thing. They care. But it's such a, I don't wanna mess up their day. I don't think we're gonna mess up their day, but Ooh. just have anxiety. Okay, so right now we're making our brownies. Um, all the recipes and everything we're using will link down below if any of you are interested. Okay, so I guess I'll talk about Kelsey and John who are getting married on Tomorrow, oh my god! On tomorrow. Um, on tomorrow, so the venue is it's local, it's beautiful, and I'm so excited for them to get married. I guess this video is gonna come out later, so I can say what the venue is. But it's called Edgefield. If you are local, you probably know what that is, and if not, I believe it was an old school. It's an old school, right? Yeah. It's an old school campus that they converted into a hotel slash venue slash. Um, well, music venue and also event venue and also there's a bunch of different bars and like Yeah, it's like an open campus so you can like Walk around and drink and yeah. like it's really, cool. it's really cool. We went there for Chris's 30th birthday which Not my 30th? Is, wow, three years ago. Was it 30th birthday? It was whenever I sprained my ankle. I think so. Which is nuts. Um, and we actually met them through YouTube and social media. We had just moved here. Kelsey reached out and she was like, my boyfriend ha is just going vegan and we really cool surprise for his birthday if we can all meet up and get dinner. So we ended up doing that. We went to a place called Farm Spirit, which is no longer open here. Um, and we all Fermenter had dinner. Is, uh... Now it's Fermenter, yeah. But it was, it was so cool and now like we're really great friends. Kelsey and I work out together every week and we chat all the time and we know their kids and it's just, I don't know, it's just really cool that we've grown such a close bond with them um, and we met them on social media.
What is that that I just put in? I measured baking powder, but you may have I also. did already. Oh, okay. oh my god. Thank okay. god I noticed that. We would have put it in twice. Wait, the chopped up chocolate. We didn't do that. Oh my god, everything's chaos. I'm just started. I'm getting like scared. And then we'll make more cake and then we'll make more brownies. Mm -hmm. Doing this inefficiently, don't judge us. We're new here. Yeah. We have a method to our madness, I promise. <laughs> Definitely don't. Let's put on Survivor while we do I'm it. ready for Survivor. If anybody has been watching Survivor, don't spoil it. We're on the newest season. We haven't seen all of them. We're just basically like skipping around and also our friends gave us recommendations as to which is the best seasons to watch. So that's what we're doing. We just finished the David and Goliath. Or, yeah, that David. one was good. That one was a good season. And then the one we watched before that was good too. The Millennials one. Yeah, Millennials versus Gen X. That was good. Mm -hmm. And we're back. <laughs> so, so far we've made three brownies and... Five cakes. Six. Six cakes. Six uh, trays of cakes. My hair looks crazy, but let's just ignore that. So um, now we're making banana bread. Yes. I decided to make banana bread as like a backup, um, just in case, because it's so easy to make. It's just one bowl. And um, I think everyone, will, everyone loves banana bread, so... It's true. Banana bread's good. Recording, good morning. Good morning. So, we didn't get as much done last night as we had hoped. Ah! So now we're in panic mode. Yeah, the morning. I gotta my hair. Of the wedding. I'll be back. I gotta set my hair. I have too much hair for this. I am attempting to make cake pops. Kelsey and John, you're gonna watch this and you're gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm sorry in advance. No, I'm gonna be excited. <laughs> Barry is on top of the couch right now. Um, he has a new favorite s spot. Hey, Bear. Everybody wanted to see your favorite spot on the couch. Do you have anything to say to the people of YouTube? <laughs> and then Louie is, you can see, oh, there's Lou. I guess I'll give an update. Um, I probably look insane, but I'm like over it. We made three recipes with brownies. We are prepping the cake pops as you saw. I'm currently making the filling for the lemon bars, baking cookies, and what else? I made lavender balls. Um, that I did that I did off camera. I was like in a little bit of a panic mode. I am right now too, um, but I'm just trying to breathe. So I need to juice some lemons. Um, this is really intense. I'm like, I feel like a little crazy right now. Chris is out picking up the. I don't know if you mentioned the cake and the cupcakes, but he's picking those up from the bakery, and we're doing this. Everything's just a disaster in here. Everything's a mess. Um, yes. I don't want, if Kelsey, Kelsey and John, if you see this, I don't want you to think anything negative. Like, I am stressed out, but I'm so excited to be doing this. This is like an honor for me to be doing. Um, and I appreciate you of including us in your big day. But I'm just freaking out a little because I want it to be perfect. Oh shit. And I want you to like everything and yeah, I'm really excited to see everything going on tonight. I'm excited to see Kelsey's dress. Um, and I'm excited to just chill. I had to go pick up the cake for our friend's wedding at Petunia's. It's like a gluten-free and vegan bakery in Portland. And they were nice enough to hook me up with a breakfast sandwich, which I am extremely grateful for. So it's like a biscuit sandwich. It has some vegan egg and cheese and sausage on here. and. It smells so good. So I'm gonna jump in and eat this. And then uh, when I get home, I will show you what the cake and cupcakes look like because they all look really, really nice. I'm back home, pardon the disaster everywhere. Mm. This is a cookie from Petunia's. Mm, wow. Mm. Gluten-free. Oh, good. I love cookies with like the hard. Oh, it's so good. Here is the cake that we ordered for Kelsey and John. Um, 
Looks beautiful. Gorgeous. This doesn't really do the full justice here, but I'll show you the cupcakes too. Here are the cupcakes. Oh my God. They're all gluten-free and vegan, which is really cool. I think this is probably the best gluten-free vegan bakery in Portland. So. I don't even know if there's any others. Best gluten, one of the best gluten-free vegan places ever. Right? Ever. Seriously, we've been to a few and it's so good. I know, it's really good. You can't even tell it's gluten-free. Mm -mm. That's how you know it's good. We did it. Oh my God. Look at the chaos and I'm still wearing my apron because I'm just afraid that when we're unloading, something's gonna happen. So I was like, I'm just gonna keep it on. I got the cake in my lap. We're doing this. I'm really scared. Yeah, we have to. Um, we brought a bunch of our props from like our food photography, and we're gonna set those up on a table. <sighs> Should be interesting. We never showed the final product of anything yet either. So. No, actually, yeah. Vlogging all this, I thought it was a good idea, but the only reason why it was a bad idea was because we weren't good at vlogging because there was so much happening. We we're doing so much, so I apologize. But I'm really excited to show you the final product, and I really hope that they like this. Hi, Kelsey and John, if you're watching. <laughs> Good morning. That was really loud. I'm putting my pants on. Um, we are going out to brunch with our video editor, Adriana. Hi, she's gonna be editing this video. And I'm really excited and I'm also running late, of course, because I always am. So, um, I just wanted to <laughs> film a quick update here because it's been a few days since the wedding and we just disappeared off <laughs> the vlog for a few days. Um, the wedding was on Thursday and today, I don't think we, yeah, we didn't film. Yeah, today is Sunday, so Thursday, we didn't film Friday or Saturday. Um, Friday, we had a lot of work to do, and Saturday, honestly, we're like, we just need a day off, we just need to chill, and we were originally planning to vlog, but it just didn't happen, but we're back, baby, and um, we're going to update you on all of the wedding stuff, which I'm so excited about, and how everything turned out. First up, I'm going to get ready, because, like I said, we got to go, and so, I will be right back. Morning! So, I did film earlier just to give an update that we were alive. Um, we are here. Here we are. We were supposed to film <laughs> yesterday. We totally forgot, so that's our bad. But we needed a day. Like, after all of the catering, honestly, it was a lot. It's just something we've never done before, so I was like, I just need to sleep for a while. So we kind of just, I mean, although well, we that went. That was Friday, and then Saturday. No, Friday we did work, though. That's true. So we had Ooh, to. We got new recipes coming soon. We are on our way to our favorite brunch spot. If you watch our vlogs, you will already know where we're going right now. I feel like we go here in every vlog. Every weekend. Um, still not tired of it. If you come to Portland, you have to go to South by Northwest for brunch, get their pancakes, send me a picture. All you can eat. All you can eat pancakes. It doesn't say it on the menu, does it? For some reason, I feel like it doesn't. I don't know. But you can get um, unlimited refills on the pancakes if you didn't know, so just saying that just in case i need a coffee bag i know i need something my throat is scratching and i'm like really hoping i don't have a cough attack while we're there because we're going with our video editor and i'm like i do not want to it's so know? meta that she's going to be editing this. i know <laughs> so i wanted to give an update on our catering experience because i realized once we got to the wedding we didn't really film much yeah we did like a little pan of the, the food and then we're like yeah. let's get drinks and sit down basically um, we needed to decompress. Exactly. So we got there, we unloaded all of the, des the desserts and the table turned out so pretty. I really loved the setup they had for us. They had some wooden rounds we can use. We also brought a bunch of our props like I showed you. So we set everything up, said life is sweet, which was cute. And I loved it because in the we were, after we unloaded everything, it was like cocktail hour. So we were all just like hanging out and all the little kids were just like running to the dessert table, grabbing something and running away. <laughs> It was the Our best. friend's son is like, he was like so Lumen. excited about the desserts. Yeah, it made me so happy. So 
Um, they also had, it was an all vegan wedding. I forgot to mention that. So all the desserts we made are vegan, obviously. And then all of the food they served was vegan, which was so good. It was yeah, like, like a, a taco nacho bar. bar. Yeah. yeah, they had nachos or tacos and I devoured it. I had two plates and then, um, yeah, it was just a fun time. We were all dancing. Everybody just, we didn't know anyone there. So we were just like having enjoying ourselves, time. having a good time. Kelsey's dress was amazing. Kelsey and John were just so cute. And it was just a fun wedding. Weddings are always great. They're always just so happy, you know? Yeah, so that was the wedding. I'm sorry it was not, I didn't film as much as we would have wanted to, but I hope that uh, you enjoyed coming along our catering experience. It was hectic. It was fun. It was Don't know exhilarating. If we'll do that yet. So if anyone asks, it's probably going to be in there. <laughs> Tell the vlog what you just did. Just registered for my first half marathon. I'm scared. I'm excited. I mean, I'm not doing it, but. You're gonna, I'm you'll run in my place. I will be at the finish line and I'll pick you up. With the boys. With the boys. <laughs> gotta we gotta clean. clean. We still haven't uh, done anything. Oh, this is a really good angle. I just went to the hobby shop real quick, got a box of uh, some Top Series 2. And now we're watching the Yankees. And not cleaning, baby. Not cleaning yet. yet. And then I have a surprise. Uh. <laughs> hi, boys. <laughs> hey. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Hi, bud. You want to open it? Out of there, please. Thank you. Barry is curious about our everything. Cleaning. All about our chaos. So the house is a little bit insane right now, but it will be clean by the end, by of, the end of today, we'll see. next week. Um, <laughs> we're going on a trip next week, so I'm like really wanting to clean our house because our friends are staying here. And I was like, we need the house to be in the best condition for them. I don't want them to live in shambles. So. Um, I'm making Word. a matcha because I realized I didn't have matcha day. I'm like, that's why I feel insane. I have some coffee, Cometeer iced coffee. Ooh. Mm. We're getting caffeinated and then we're going to try to clean the whole mm. house. I'm, I'm currently working on the pantry. I'm just like reorganizing it. And then we have a community donation yeah, program. Yeah, there's like a food drive that collects a bag once every two months yeah so i'm just like filling our bag right now with just stuff that we have we get a lot of like food samples and random things with pr and it's awesome i'm so grateful for it but there's literally no way that we can consume it all ourselves we so do our we just yeah it's been really good though that we can donate it all whatever we don't um, make use of so that's what we're doing just wanted to send an update i've been doing I guess laundry should... and dishes so. i really want to film me cleaning the pantry but i don't want you to see it because it's so messy We'll show it when it's finished. I'll show you when it's done. It's really bad. All right, our pantry is organized. It is still chaotic, but I'm pretty proud of myself. Compared to how it was. Yeah, I got a bunch of dozen cousins. I did a collab with them. That whole thing is full of do a dozen cousins. So I have some in the donation bag. I started a second donation bag as well for other things that we may collect over the next two months because this is collected every other month. Then I have a bag for my friends that I'm gonna drop off tonight with a bunch of different products that they want as well. So we're making progress. For dinner tonight, I'm cooking up these beaut burger patties. Uh, here's what they look like. They're like a veggie, like straight veggie burger patty. They sent them to us uh, earlier this week, so I'm excited to try them. <laughs> they also have buns. Let's see what this is all about. finished i'm doing a double stack because i'm really hungry right now uh and this is jasmine's on mine i just have pickles some vegan mayo and some hot sauce jasmine just has the vegan mayo and some spinach 
Um, they stuck to the pan a little bit here, as you can see. Um, I don't know if that was my fault or the burger's fault, but um, we'll see how they are. Mm. Here we go. Ooh, these buns look cute. Yeah, they look nice. Smells pretty good. I cut my finger. I um, gave some friend, uh, plants to my friends right now, and mm -hmm. the pot cracked, and I sliced my hand on the pot, so I told her to be careful. I didn't have time to repot it. Mmm, what is it made out of? I like the branding. It's all like beans. Pinto beans, millet, potato flour, eggplant, mushrooms, carrots, celery, oats, olive oil, spices, garlic, parsley, soy sauce, pepper, black pepper and onion. Onion, salt. Salt. Wow. Oh, that's so simple. Mm. They're from Tucson. I really mm. like it. Nut free, gluten free. Yeah, I really like it too. The buns are nice. They're like a mix between a burger bun and an English muffin. I got some hot sauce on my sock. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. So if you don't like like, uh, or if you're not in the mood for like beyond like like meaty vegan burgers, yeah, this is definitely a, burger, a good option. It's mm -hmm. full flavor. Oh, I wish I had a tomato. I know, this is like a last minute dinner idea, so we weren't fully prepared on toppings. Yeah, oh, we're gonna clean. continue cleaning. Been really, really, really fun. We have to film a few recipes in here before we leave this week for LA. I'm scared. Should we deep clean the kitchen or should we clean it after we cook? Let's clean it after. I kind of think it makes more sense. Like Tuesday night. Yeah. So, with that in mind, tonight. We're gonna watch Survivor. Well, no. I was gonna say we should run the Roomba. Yes. We'll all go upstairs. Watch Survivor. And install the dresser. Ooh, or fold. We have a lot of laundry to fold. Or both, we'll do both. I really wanna install the okay. dresser. All right, we'll do it. All right, after like six months, we're finally installing this thing. Is that straight? Like, are we at the same height? Yeah. All right, Barry and I are here. And Conscious Chris is doing his thing. <laughs> I think it looks great. I'm gonna do this high. Okay. That's it? Oh. Look. Come here. Yay! ASMR. <laughs> What's up, Bear? Oh my gosh, he's like looking straight into the camera. <laughs> Don't be weird, dude. Trying to adjust. I love that we procrastinated this for so long. And, and it's, it's like, so like fast. I know. We're, we're, we're just stupid. Okay. I think that's good. We finished hanging everything, and now we fold. <laughs> I so just unplugged many. my phone with my leg. Oopsie. Oh, this is gonna be yeah. a long fold. We've done laundry time. in like a really long time. Don't notice. <laughs> Oopsies. The best part is we're gonna watch Survivor. Yeah. We're addicted. I don't know. Is anyone else addicted? It's so good. Please do not spoil it because someone. In my DMs, when I posted Survivor, spoiled one character, and I was really sad. So just please. Don't. We're on the last season, and Don't we're like. Don't you dare. They just merged, so do not tell us. <laughs> We got Margarita, Margarita Monday. Monday. Hey. Hey. First official. Hey. First annual. First annual. Canyon Water, water sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> he has been the star of everything. Everything. Love you. Oh, I wore these socks for you. Yeah. They're for you. Yeah. That's pretty. Margarita Monday, guys. Here we are. Join the club. Everybody do it with us. <laughs> Especially for summer. I'm so excited. Thank you.
So our first Margarita Monday was a success. I don't know if it'll always be Margarita Monday. It evolved into a dance party. It was a, yeah, it was so much fun. It was just like the stress relief that I needed. I had such a great time and I'm wonderful. excited for next Monday. Uh, we're also gonna do mocktail Mondays. We're just gonna like kind of go with the flow, change it up whenever we want and feel like it, I a guess. A Monday. I'm allergic, so I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're leaving town tomorrow and- We're gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. So it's gonna be a fun one. I'm really excited for that vlog. Uh, right now we're just running errands. I need to get my nails fixed because they're kind of janky. They just grew out a lot, so I'm gonna get those fixed. Chris is gonna go pick some stuff up and um, run a few runs. We're back. I got my nails done. I ended up getting ombre. I don't know Same. how I feel, but they're cool, I guess. I think I would go with different colors next time. This is the first time I've like ever them. done it. Chris said they look like mermaid colors, which, oh, sorry. There we go. We got to clean our disaster over here and we are going to head out, but we are going to continue today in the next vlog. So if you want to see us packing and all that, you can and to see where we're going. Exactly. You can head to the next video if it's out, but if not, it'll be out a week after this one, I believe. So thanks for hanging. We love y'all, and we'll see you soon. Bye.